Hey folks, Keith McGowan. I am the Outboard Dad here to help you have a better boating experience. Today, we're going to continue on with our Mercury 150. We're kind of in the home stretch here, but we did heat the heck out of this midsection. So we're going to get into this. We have some gaskets in the kit that I hope will fit this, but I haven't pulled one of these apart before on this particular Mercury. I've always been able to pop the power heads off and put them back on and not have an issue. But I know we have to replace these gaskets in here. I don't want leaking or anything like that going on. So please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have. Remember my used outboard motor guide will be on Amazon very soon. If you purchase it, it'll be a $20 value. And you send me an email to keith at outboarddad.com. With proof of purchase, I will give you a free counseling session to help you with your outboard, or maybe one you're looking to buy, or maybe a boat that you're looking to purchase, or maybe the one that you're working on now that you need help with. So we're gonna get into this. I'm just gonna take this brackets off here, or shift shift. Comes through, I don't know if it comes all the way out or not. Yeah, it looks like it comes all the way out. Good thing we can look at that and inspect it. Doesn't look corroded or anything, so we'll put that aside. So we're gonna take this bracket off. I see some bolts here. We're gonna juice them up with some jack of all sprays, my favorite stuff. And uh, we'll start pulling this apart. I'm hoping since we heated it up really good, the bolts will come out okay. Of course, some of them are in the center, not on the outsides, but there's also a lot of oil around here where the carburetor probably dripped some oil. So uh, let's see if we can get these bolts out and see if we can get this apart. That wasn't holding much. Let's see if we can get these off. I feel like this one might want to break. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's one we got to drill out. This one's coming out all right. Okay, I'm going to give it a little tap here. That was easier than I thought. I think it's just that center bolt that broke on us. I'm hoping there's still a little stud left we can grab with a pipe wrench or something. All right. Yes, there is a stud left. So that worked out nicely. Yeah. And I see here are two bolts we can put our brackets, our plastic piece back on with our rubber grommet. So that'll be good. Actually, this gasket, it got cooked, but still isn't isn't in bad shape i thought i broke it maybe it's the bottom one yeah it's the bottom one that i broke so get this gas off of here pretty interesting it's it's kind of solid like a rock though so it probably doesn't seal off anymore here in order to get the rest of this apart or loosen the bottom piece so that this will slide up to get it off that's what we're probably going to try first so let's Let's uh, we'll tilt this over on its side and see if we can do it that way. Do that, but there's nice ground wires here, just like we find on the Yamahas. Another bolt, snaparoni. So what I'm finding after we snap that bolt is this has a ring on the bottom and I think I can take this ring off and slide this out. Let's see. Check it out. So now we just have this one bolt we'll have to repair. We can take care of that. That's no big deal. You can drill that out and put a helicoil in it. I'm going to spray that up. But now we can get the rest of this off. This is another bolt I don't see. Should be able to. Excellent. So now we can also inspect this. If I see this is loose, I'm gonna to have to look in the book and see if there's a gasket in there. 
or if that can just be tightened up. Oh, nope, see, I see a broken piece in here. We'll have to weld that up. Broken bolt on there. Probably isn't causing any harm, it's just sending the exhaust down and out. And uh, we'll get new gasket for this. We'll check our gaskets. Nice, we can see our tube for our water pump, which is in good shape, which is nice to see. So we know we'll have good water flow. So this is all in all good that we pulled this apart because now we're gonna make some more repairs. Let's see if we have these gaskets and we'll continue on with this. So it looks like they shipped three gaskets with this. So we've got the base gasket, we've got that crusty one that we took out first at the top, and then there's the one that goes down the, or on the power head itself. So the base gasket is the large one that goes over where that exhaust plate was loose and had the crack in it. So we're gonna fix that up and uh, looks like we got the gaskets we need. So now we just got some more cleaning to do and a little drilling, two bolts that broke. Well, the one stud, I think we can probably get out. We'll get that in the vise and we'll, uh, I'll juice that up, let it sit overnight and we'll, we'll heat it up with the torch, see if we can get that out. The other one that's right next to the motor mount, I don't wanna try and heat that because it's a rubber motor mount that's in there. So what I'm gonna do is just drill that and we'll just heli coil it and put a, put a new bolt in there. Um, and that'll be good to go. So we'll continue on in our next episode. So please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have, and let me know how I can help you have a better boating experience. Have a great day.